Belarus president Pedro Castillo has been arrested on charges of rebellion and conspiracy after being ousted by Congress. Castillo had earlier tried to dissolve parliament and install an emergency government hours before he was to face an impeachment vote. Now, Peru's former vice president Dina Boluarte has been sworn in as president. She's the first woman to lead the country. Tear gas and turmoil in Lima after a day packed with political drama. It began early in the morning with Pedro Castillo's announcement that he was dissolving parliament ahead of its third attempt to impeach him since he took office in 2021. His announcement sparked demonstrations on the streets, mass resignations from his government and defiance from the opposition-dominated Congress. It moved up the impeachment vote which passed with only six votes against. Vice President Dina Boluarte was sworn in as Peru's first female president shortly after. In her first speech to parliament, she didn't mince words about Castillo's removal. There has been an attempted coup d'etat, an attempt promoted by Pedro Castillo, which has not found an audience in the institutions of democracy and on the streets. In Lima, many demonstrators backed his removal. Castillo is trying to run away from justice. He's opted for the last resort, trying to dissolve the Congress. But supporters of Castillo, whose 17 turbulent months in power were marked by five cabinets, six criminal investigations and two earlier failed impeachment attempts, were furious. From the beginning, President Pedro Castillo has not been allowed to work. President Castillo has been slandered. That's why we're going through what we're going through now and why this corrupt Congress needed to be dissolved. He was elected by all the Peruvian people, not just Lima. The people are the whole country, the whole of Peru, and they have to learn to respect the will of the people. Castillo, who left the presidential palace after being removed from office, has been arrested and charged with rebellion and conspiracy. If convicted, he could face years in prison. CW's Latin America correspondent Nicole Ries spoke to us earlier about the latest political twists and turns in Peru. It was one last attempt to cling to power, but instead ex-president Pedro Castillo has managed to put himself in a much worse situation, committing political suicide and allowing Congress to go after what they have been wanting for for months now, basically replacing him. Pedro Castillo's presidency has been marred with the accusation of corruption, which is also why he had lost so many votes and so much confidence among his own people. Now that he is not president anymore, he has also lost the immunity that he once enjoyed and will sooner or later have to face trial in connection to these accusations. In the meantime, Peruvians have to face another political crisis, and most of them, a majority, would like to see fresh elections in order to be able to decide what is best for the country and where Peru is heading.